Okay, this is part two of the interior modifications tour. Uh, first item, uh, we're going to finish up with the seat belts. These seat belt receptacles are also out of a 7 series. They've been modified with these custom anchor points. If you look down here, these anchor points are, are custom made brackets that ride with the adapter plate that goes on the seat rails. Uh, these receptacles ride with the seat as you slide back and forth versus the original 3.0 where those anchor points were uh, mounted directly to the drive tunnel. So kind of panning up to our door card, continuing the leather tour. It was, I made a joke on the E9 forum years ago that this car came with a, a mystery option from BMW called Smoking Delete. We've eliminated the ashtrays in the car and the, the cigarette lighter. So this, there's, uh, there's no pocket here in, in this molded trim. The other changes, the perforated leather that match the seats and kind of moving forward is the uh, control mechanism for the outside door mirrors. Uh, Burl car painting now, originally these were chrome on a 3.0 CS. And then panning over to the other side, to the dashboard. Uh, when the car was constructed, we eliminated the, the single mono speaker that used to be here. And this is burled Carpathian Elm veneer that's been bookmarked right here, bonded on with some very serious adhesive. These separators that are on the dash are made out of solid Carpathian Elm and a press insert into the floor of the dashboard here. Moving back a little bit to the steering wheel, this is an M1 steering wheel, three horn buttons. It's a custom bezel that's been machined to accept the early motorsport. Again, this is a glass fired cloisonne logo that has been uh, custom machined to fit inside that M1 wheel. This car, we've, we've changed and added in the adjustable steering column that was fitted in very late coupes in 1975 production. This became common on the E12 that followed. So this column slides back and forth in this lockable feature here that uh, became very common on E12s. While the camera's down there, let's look a little bit closer. This is a a true Alpina dead pedal that's been fitted, fitted anchored to the floor. Uh, these bolts do not protrude through in the floor pan. They're welded to a bracket, so th there's no water penetration possibility here. But that's an original Alpina part. The remainder of the pedal assemblies are bone stock short of these uh, pedal pads. Kind of coming back up, we're going to uh, talk about the gauges. One of the more common, unique things on this car is the oil pressure and oil temperature gauge and this is uh, oil temperature in Fahrenheit and oil pressure in pounds. Uh, this was a custom made gauge. We started with uh, the bezel from a water temperature gauge and then uh, North Hollywood gauges a speedometer custom made this gauge and calibrated it just to this car. Next gauge over is the custom uh, tachometer with the 7000 rpm red line. Uh, it's a little bit faded on that right there Next gauge is over 150 mile an hour. True miles since restoration, 23,449. Uh, last of the custom gauges, if you can get in a little bit closer, um, is the water temperature gauge. Coupe water temperature gauges were typically blue on the bottom, red on the top, and no information in between. This has been calibrated and numbered uh, in Fahrenheit. And kind of that, that concludes kind of the, the gauges tour, kind of panning back out. Uh, next up is the center console. These are late style switches for a coupe. Uh, part of the smoking delete package is the elimination of the, the cigar, as the Europeans would say, or cigarette lighter here. And this is covered in the same matching burl Carpathian elm. Temperature controls and air conditioning we talked about earlier in the video. And that concludes the interior modifications tour on the 3.8.